Hello and welcome to this lesson which will show you how to deliver high quality analysis. This is the phase of your problem solving that will drive you to your insights and conclusions and ultimately spur management into action. After you have finished this training, you will be able to Firstly, understand why focused and accurate analysis is important. And secondly, learn how to execute high-quality analysis following six success factors. To begin with, let's consider why delivering high-quality analysis is so important. Analysis is a means to an end, in that it provides support for the insights which should lead to some form of action to solve the problem at hand. Analysis is the ability to break down problems into clear components to reveal an inner driver or truth that then leads to a recommendation or solution. Completing accurate analysis that makes sense to management gives you credibility and impact and any errors in analysis can negatively impact your credibility as well as distracting from the key message you are trying to convey. When executing high-quality analysis, there are six key success factors you need to consider. Firstly, choosing the right approach, which will determine the right quantitative and qualitative analysis. Secondly, prioritizing your work, which is about building a work plan to organize the order and completion of analysis. Thirdly, building a solid analysis, which is about designing robust quantitative and qualitative analysis. Fourthly, being creative with data constraints, which is about working with incomplete data. Fifthly, driving to early outputs, which is about getting to results quickly and leveraging other knowledge in the organization. And lastly, sanity checking your analysis, which ensures the numbers in the analysis make sense and that the issues you raise are both reasonable and relevant. Let's now look at each success factor in turn. Firstly, when choosing the right approach, pick the most appropriate type of analysis to either prove or refute your hypothesis and match it to the available data. Will you be needing to conduct predominantly numbers-based analysis or will you need to understand human behavior? What data already exists and where are your gaps? And how would you expect to draw up your findings? For example, in a customer segmentation exercise, this will predominantly be a quantitative piece of analysis, requiring data on elements such as sales and costs. A typical output might be a list of customers segmented based on profitability levels and a size of the addressable market. The second key success factor is to have a work plan that organizes and prioritizes your analytical work. Not only will a work plan get you off to a good start by making you think through key tasks and potential roadblocks or important review meetings, it can help you organize your thoughts and resources. Work plans are also a great way for you to communicate status updates with your team and manager, giving confidence that the project is on track. Let's look at an example. A well-thought-out work plan lists out the steps you will complete and the estimated time needed for each element, as shown in the slide. A work plan is not set in stone and you should update your plan as you move through your project. The third key success factor when building a solid analysis is to think of qualitative and quantitative-based tools. Quantitative analysis looks at numeric and statistical data, such as costs and revenue. Excel is a great way to standardize your work where you can clearly define your inputs, variables, calculations and expected outputs. 
Ensure that all assumptions are based on sound logic. Qualitative analysis seeks to understand human behaviour and will go beyond numbers to identify and understand an issue. For example, interviews, surveys and focus groups are some of the most frequently used qualitative analyses. Do ensure that the questions you ask focus on the overall question you are trying to answer. So move from general questions to specific ones to avoid going off tangent. Insights and recommendations are most powerful with an effective blend of both types of qualitative and quantitative analysis. The fourth key success factor relates to data constraints. As a problem solver, you may not get all the data you want. For example, the data may not exist, is too high level, or could be held in a database that is too complex to extract data from. Try not to let the data constrain you. Rather work with people around your organization to get the data you need. Take time to consider what you need, the scope of what you need, and whom to ask. After receiving the data, do a quick sanity check on it to ensure it is correct. If the data you want is unavailable, see what you can do with what you have. For example, by extrapolating or filling in missing data by making sensible assumptions or using industry benchmark data. The fifth key success factor relates to driving to early outputs that you can share with your team and manager. These outputs are not rushed or hurried, but you should start to put your thoughts down on paper. Aim to define your storyline and keep it in mind when completing your analysis. Also, early output does not usually come in the form of completed decks. It is normally okay to share incomplete slides when reviewing with your team or manager. Talk with your team throughout your analysis, asking relevant and thoughtful questions. Make use of people's expertise to improve your work. Ask questions about any sticking points and be open to suggestions. The sixth and final key success factor when executing high-quality analysis is to always sanity check your outputs, as well as double-checking the numbers to ensure they are accurate and consistent. You also need to be asking yourself if the numbers in the analysis make sense, whether the points raised are reasonable and relevant, and whether the details will be credible with your manager. One effective way to do this is by using back-of-the-envelope calculations to check for accuracy and focus. These are approximate estimates obtained quickly with simplified but sound logic and assumptions. Let's look at an example. Here we can use a back-of-the-envelope calculation to estimate the average annual running cost for a delivery truck using data from a variety of internal and external sources. If you are presenting this logic to your manager, be sure to state upfront what you are determining and the assumptions and sources you have used, which drive the accuracy of the answer. Explicitly show the early estimate as a step in the process and possibly include clear next steps to complete the analysis. In summary, delivering high-quality analysis provides support for the insights which should lead to some form of action to solving the problem at hand. Delivering high-quality analysis requires adhering to six key success factors, ranging from choosing the right approach, to building a solid analysis, to sanity checking your results. Thank you for participating and see you next time on another exciting business training lesson from Pontema.